Well, we're at Hot Topic. It's bright and early at 7 a.m. and it looks like they might be putting something out. I'm really hoping it's gonna be Hades. That's why I'm here. If this is Hades, in that big empty spot, we're gonna be happy. So, we'll find out. Stay tuned. They have gotten to Hot Topic now, and as you can see, Hades is going out. Dude, will they have a chase? We don't know. Well, maybe we do. But we'll find out in a bit. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, everybody right there in YouTube land. This is Invader Maz coming to you with one last Funko video before I leave. Now, well, I'm not leaving the channel. I'm not, like, never coming back. But I'm going to be gone for about a week or so before I upload anything else. So... With that in mind, I did go do a hunt today. Now, this is a this was a risky move. I went out, got up around 6 this morning, and uh, I went to my local Hot Topic. So I got there right around the time the mall opened at 7. I had no word officially from my Hot Topic whether or not they got these pops in. I was totally gambling this until somebody got there to tell me otherwise. But, it was a fun time. We'll just say that. So, when I got to Hot Topic, as you saw from the footage there earlier, there was this big open space there in the front where they, you know, put their new pops. At least that's where they're now putting their new pops. They used to be in the center, but I think Ready Player One bought that table space, so it's got all Ready Player One on it now. In any case, so I went there, and I'm sitting there going, please be Hades, please be Hades. And... Then I remembered that the Rick and Morty Mad Max ride was coming out soon, so I got worried. Anyway, while I was waiting, I sat there and talked to Jetta Patrol, talked to Bearded Pop Hunter, and a couple of my, my local peeps, because they were up, and I was bored. And then finally, the Hot Topic manager comes up, and uh, it's one of my favorite managers. She uh, actually is just helping out from another store, but uh, when we got there... She was like, let me see what I got. In any case, here's what happened. We got some stuff from Hot Topic. That's right, kitties. So, let's see what we got. I was really, really hoping it wasn't going to have the Rick and Morty Max, Mad Max ride. I didn't want that. I'm not interested. The only ride I'm interested in that's coming out soon is the Invader Zim ride. So, But with that in mind, here's what we hauled. Because no chase is left behind, we got the Hercules chase. Now, this box sucks. Now, <clears throat> I went ahead and put them in a hard stack. I'm not collecting the Hercules line per se. There's only one Hercules pop I'm really interested in because he's the bad guy. He goes well with horror. But since they had it, and especially since it's a glow chase, I went ahead and did that. And his, this lid on this thing is cracked, so it doesn't stay on here, which sucks. Anyway, and of course, my gamble paid off as far as Hades. Yes, Hades dropped. We got the Hot Top exclusive glow-in-the-dark Hades. And uh, I was the only one there until after they opened. In fact, people showed up, started showing up right at 10 o'clock. So, unfortunately, because nobody else had the hindsight, the inclination, or... The time the waste. I was the only one to get one of these. They only got one. I got them. So my camping trip paid off. And we got my Hades fulfilled. I'm happy to say we got the Hades chase. We got the Hades glow in the dark hot topic exclusive. And we also got the Hercules chase. Dude, how can you be upset about that? This is awesome. So... Yeah, I camped out for a bit, but I didn't have much else going on. In any case, so this is what we got. This is what we, we walked away with. And of course, I'm really stoked about, you know, Stranger Things and completing this set. I got this guy yesterday through Amazon. He, I bought two on Amazon, and one of them was the Chase. So 
this week has been good to me. I can't complain. And hopefully it'll be just as good when I get out of town and visit the Bearded Pop Hunter. Uh, we're going to go check out some stuff, of course. But this is my week so far. Good stuff. Uh, I got really fortunate this week. I was glad my luck held for Hades because once I left town, I didn't expect I was going to find him. So let's check out the glow on these pops, shall we? Since Hercules' top doesn't want to stay on anyway, we'll do it from the top. These boxes, I mean, it's really, really good to use a, a knife or another edge to open these things. The only problem is that sometimes that lip just doesn't want to let go. So you probably see people just pop it right off sometimes, but I, of course, don't want to tear the box. So I just take it a little, little easier, right? Let's get Hercules out. We'll take a look at him, and then we're going to do the glow. We're going to take a look at his glow. So there's Hercules right there, looking real good, He's pointing at his big, big arm, of course. And a great job here on the paint and the sculpt here. Look at the detail there on the cloak, all the folds there. And of course, his uh, skirt. I don't think it's a kilt. He's not Irish or Scottish. But uh, you can't see really much up there. Look at that. They should have put some underwear on him. My God. Oh, wait, did they? Ah, it's a little darker. It could be underwear. We don't know. Nobody else is going to show you that shot, right? So this is without the glow. Let's get him glowing. I'm going to use this UV flashlight here. I'm going to turn off the lights. Oh, he fell. Get that glow nice and pretty, hopefully. Let's see how he's doing. So there's his glow. And his back doesn't really glow. His legs glow in the back, though, I think. Yeah. So... All of them glows pretty well, except for his hair and his cloak. And, of course, his clothes. So we'll put him away. Right back in the box he goes. And they were three for 27, so that's awesome. Let's take a look at the common Hot Topic exclusive Hades, shall we? I like it when they just come right out of the box. Alrighty, we got the common Hades. This is before the glow here. He's uh, pretty blue. His hair is really cool. You can kind of see through it, especially towards the top there. He's got no feet, but he's got the uh, smoke effect here. Let's check out his glow. Let's get him glowing. All right, there he goes, man. He's glowing pretty good. It's just the face, not the hair. And, of course, the back isn't really glowing. Maybe his hairline there. Yeah, right there on the back, too, by his hairline. So, uh, let's get that side. Yeah, real nice blue glow there. All right, let's get this guy put away. Let's check and look at the chase. That's what you all came to see, right? Want to see that red glow? We've all seen the blue glow. Let's take a look at this red glow, shall we? I love it when they just slide right out, because I hate fighting them. All right, the red Chase Hot Topic exclusive Hades. There's him without the glow. The nice thing is, is the way the mold goes for the hair is that the color of his head is actually making the fire look darker here, which is pretty nice. Now, you don't really see the outline of his head, uh, not through the mold, but you do see that color change, which is really subtle and really nice for the flame. I really like that. So let's check out this guy's glow. Got the trusty UV flashlight. Let's get him going. Oh, that's really cool. Look at that. When you shine a UV flashlight on it, it's like two different tones. I don't know if you can really see it. I'm trying. You can see his glow through his head up here at the top. It's very subtle, but uh, I don't know. Let's get his red going. We'll hold him by the head since his head doesn't glow. Let 
Look at that. Really nice glow on him for a red glow. That's spectacular, I think. I really like that. It's a really sweet pop. This is the one I really wanted. All right, so that's it. That's the last one. Hades Chase right here. Great pop. I'm going to put him away before I damage the box or something. I'm so happy to have gotten this. Camping there was so worth it because his PP, I'm going to say PPA, since it's Pops PDA is the only one that seems to be worth crap lately. His PPA is about 100 bucks right now. He'll probably drop down to about 50 where Elvira is because his, his rarity is probably going to maintain about that until they're, of course, vaulted, and then, of course, it might change from there. But right now, he's he's over 100, at least last I checked, I should say. And, like I said, he'll probably come down to about 50 when all is said and done. I really hate these protectors. I wish Think Geek would get on the ball and put them out. These Funko brand ones are horrible for the money. They are too brittle. But when that's all you can get, that's all you can get. So this is my haul for today which is awesome. I gotta get ready to pack, gotta do some laundry, but I wanna get this video up for you guys and uh, show you what I got, cause I'm so excited, I'm super stoked. I mean, this week has been great so far and I haven't even gone up north yet to go uh, see the BPH, see what happens. I might trade this to him or give it to him. I haven't decided yet. I know he's interested in it and I mean, it is pretty cool though. I mean, I wasn't really interested in the rest of the line, but man, I don't know what to say. We'll see. I'll, I'll have to think about it. And of course, it might be taken in my hands anyway. It might be stupid and forget it, even if I was going to trade it. So, Hades, or excuse me, Hercules, Hades, and Hades Chase. That's what I got. All right, guys, so let's not forget, we got the 200 subscriber giveaway coming up real soon. We're about 75 subscribers short, but we're getting there. I mean, 75 subscribers, that's nothing. It's a drop in the bucket. So let's get those 75 subscribers. Let's get these given away. One pop for each winner. There's going to be three winners. And the first place winner will also get the Pork Chase, which is pretty awesome. I can't wait to see who wins these. It's going to be pretty phenomenal. And, of course, the giveaways are only going to get better. As the subscribers go up, i got some local pop shops here interested in uh, these videos and interested in perhaps donating pops. So once we get the subscribers to give this away, we'll see how it goes. And so all you have to do right now is just like subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you're aware of when this is going to happen if anything else also guys don't forget i have instagram you can find me on instagram under invader Moz. thank you again for watching and i hope you enjoyed this haul